everyone is saying this iron tip from Lee Trevino is worth, oh, hello, over $500. Okay, that is close. That's a nice divot. That felt great. And I'll be honest, he's pretty brutal. He says most of us have no idea how to fix our own swing. We've got to do the opposite to what all coaches tell us. We've got to learn to swing our own swing, plus there's a little bit of a senior tip and hack from the man himself. And you know what, I can believe it a little more coming from a, such a great of the game who is now getting into his senior years. And I should have said, this is just literally a five minute lesson from him. Now he says, think about your golf swing as a tree. You've got the trunk of the tree, which is like your legs and your body. You've got the limbs of the tree, which is your arms, your wrists, and the golf club. And when the golf swing, you've got to think about this. The trunk doesn't really want to move too much. Yes, we might swing through a little bit, but in reality, the trunk of the tree wants to just feel like it moves, it rotates like this. So he says, just be focused on the trunk doing the rotation and the arms just attach to the body and let them swing. Yeah, just let them swing. It sounds quite simple at this point, but this is where the genius bit comes in. Just be relaxed and let them swing around the body turning. Now where a lot of golfers go wrong in terms of strike, and when we're talking about strike, that's where it strikes on the club face, where most of us, we sort of get the club to work up too quickly. If we're hitting towards the camera, we hit sort of this bit, maybe even first groove, second groove. We want the club to work more in this way towards the camera, which allows us to get about here on the club face. Groove three, four, five. This is where if you look behind the club, right, where the meat of it is right in here. And when the ball position is too far forward and we let the arms just swing, can you just see if I do this slowly, how the club is starting to work up naturally too early relative to the golf club. That gets those thin, low shots. You feel the vibrations up the club and, and definitely a contributor to that sort of impact position. Now his fix is utter genius and I've got two more balls in my pocket and in three golf balls, I reckon you could have this sorted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I share that secret to hitting and striking your irons better, I need to go back to this point I said at the start and listen. He said it's a load of baloney that us as club golfers know and understand what's wrong with our swing. We don't. What we think we have to do is change our swing to become a better golfer. He says you don't. You have to learn to master your own swing. Think about it. We all walk a certain way. We all talk a certain way. Therefore, we all swing the golf club a certain way. Take the two top players at the US Open a couple of weeks ago. Rory McIlroy swings it differently to Bryson DeChambeau. Neither are trying to copy. And when we're thinking about trying to change our swing and think how many times have we tried to change our swing and it's not really changed. And also when we get in scenarios like this with water here, bunker here, tough iron shot, we will literally just default back to what's comfortable. Now there are a few things that he does say you can control, like maybe a little bit more of an outside takeaway, a little bit more aware of club face, and stance. But in the whole, we've got to learn to master our own swing. So let's go back to the trunk and the tree analogy. I was trying to think what these were. Branches, arms, limbs. You know what I meant by that. <laughs> okay, so the process is really, really simple. We have to just start moving the ball towards our back foot until we get that strike. Now, what I want you to do on the range until you get that strike consistently and what I mean by strike, like that feeling that you're like, ooh, hello, is actually forget target. Now I know I'm out on the golf course, but if you're at the range, forget target, just keep moving that ball back in your stance. So let's start, I mean, I've got nine iron in my hand here, somewhere there as our first hit. And just keep moving it back in your stance until you're happy with a consistent strike. Okay, let's hit this one from here. Oh, that was a little thin. It was down target, but remember, we're not bothered about target right now for the first shot. So that was a little thin. Okay, so let's now hit this next shot, moving it a little further back. So if I said that one was here, now we're gonna go right in the middle. Let's see how we get this one. A little better. In fact, that felt pretty good. 
nice strike. Okay, I'm going to try just a little further back again. And all he says is experiment with moving the ball further back until you're like, you know what? That's perfect. So let's hit that third one around here. So we were one, two, and now three. And I'm not thinking about target at all. Hence why I'm not showing you where these golf balls are going. Think about it logically. How on earth can you be so bothered about target if you've not got a strike? Get your strike, then start aiming. Okay, third one in this position. Let's see how this goes. And then we'll bring in that senior tip and start aiming towards the target. Oh yeah, that was so meaty. That was beautifully hit. Definitely the best of the bunch. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. So just think about it this way. Your body, the trunk is just turning. You're moving the ball back in order to get to the point where for your own swing and mastering your own swing for the club that you've got in your hand and repeat this process with several clubs, it just drops downwards into the hit naturally. And that's just that process of moving the ball from forwards to backwards until you get to that sweet spot, that real sweet spot. And the final thing he says is, for senior golfers, you know when we're getting a little bit less flexible in these hips, move your right hip out the way, because if your right hip's in the way, where are we gonna throw the club, he says? Out here, out here. So move your right hip out the way, get it back here. And the second bit to that, the senior little tip, and to be honest, I think this is great for everybody, think of the target as 12 o'clock, behind the golf ball is six o'clock, we're trying to swing in from seven in here and out this way. We're trying to hang in, swing in from seven. So again, if this is our clock, here's 12, here's six, we're trying to swing from seven, just in there. So get your hip out of the way, get towards target, get your ball position further back, swing the body, turn the body, let the arm swing naturally, and you just start collecting the ball as long as you've got it in the right position for the corresponding club. Oh, look at that hit. That doesn't get any better. That doesn't get any better. Don't worry guys, I will go and put these divots back right now. And come on, look at these here. These are the two at the start of the exercise that were a little bit thin, but you know what, still okay. But look at these three. The last shot, the first shot of the day when I was testing the tip before we started the video, and also that senior tip of pulling the right hip out the way and swinging into the golf ball from 7 p.m. Hope you enjoyed the tip, and do you think it's worth $500? Let me know down below in the comments.